Hi all, in this video I'm going to guide you how to solve lab 3 practice 2 which is to write a program that prompts the user to enter a single character from the alphabet alphabet only and then determine whether it is vowel or consonant if the user input is not a letter, maybe it's a number, integer or if the string is more than one, string length is more than one then we have to print invalid entries as sample run before, uh, below so before we start this, we have to first understand about the AC key. AC key is a library used in C++ to represent each of the character and then what is the decimal number. So we can see from here, A decimal number is 50, 65, Z is 90, but the capital letter and small letter of Z having different value. Small letter is 122, this one is 90. So we have to make sure that the input from the user is in between the range of capital letter A to capital letter Z and then from small letter Z to small letter A. Okay, the rest, the rest of the symbols should be excluded or should be assumed it is an invalid input. So let's try how to do this. Declaration or initializations. We have to declare a string rather than a character because the program wants to test if the input is more than one character. So we cannot use chart in this case, but we have to use string. I declare it as input. Then in the input part, display the required message. The required message is enter a single letter. Next, we store the variable, store to input, or store in input. So now after we grab the string, we have to do the comparison. The first part will be, we want to compare whether that particular input is having more than one character or not. So we use input dot length. to check the validity. So if this is equal to one, only one character, then we will proceed. Or else, we will display the message. Invalid input. I hope this is clear. So this if else statement is to check length of input so if this is one then we will check whether it is alphabet we have to compare input whether it is small or equal to a we check the AC key again check the AC chart again a until z so less than or equal to a and it must be also less than or equal to z and we group them. So this is the first part. And we have the concern about the small letter of A to G. So we put all small letter of A to G. A to G. Okay. Um, we cover the whole thing with one bracket. Okay. Um, this one should be two, one. All right. So now, if these are valid, if these are valid, then which means our input between A to Z only, then we have to check whether it is consonant or not. Or else, okay, so this is the valid part. Or else, same thing, we will display the message as invalid input. So this part is to check whether it is A to Z. And if not, then we will display invalid input. I hope this is clear. This part is clear. Then inside, we have to check also whether our input is vowel or consonant. First, we have to check input. Okay, this is algorithm. Uh. I use uh, algorithms 
uh, use the simplest way so that it don't take so many spaces. If input is A, E, I, O, and U. A, E, I, O, and U. We have to use the all operator. A, or E, or I, or U, or O. Okay. Also, cover the small letter. All right. So, if yes, meaning we have to display message, wow, wow is found. Uh, uh, what was the message? It is a wow, wow. Okay, else, we will display the message, it is a consonant. Okay, so for this part, please make sure you use the operator O. You use the operator O. Okay, we have one layer of if-else, second layer of if-else, and then the third layer of if-else. We have three um, nested if-else statements in this case. Okay, let's try copy and paste to your compiler and then try it. 